every company makes the same design yeah, with uh, dark brown uh, wooden housings. They call that in Germany Gelsenkirchener Barock. <laughs> it's always a compliment when some products you have designed become a nickname, like the Snow White Coffee. Nobody knows exactly where it's coming from. It comes from the competition or it comes from the inside. But the first thing was not only the cover, that was only the, the base, the main base in metal. I was influenced by my grandfather, who was a carpenter, and he was a specialist for surfaces. And I learned that from him, but I had in mind to study architecture. And after that, I finished my studies. That was a time where in Germany, it was nothing. So the things come back from the United States, for example, with architecture, things from Mies van der Rohe, from uh, uh, Gropius, uh, from Marcel Breuer. All these things come, and it was for us just to look in a new, brave world. Somebody said that there is an announcement in the, in the newspaper that there's a company called Brown. And then I get an answer from Erwin Brown. Uh, I, I met him first and he taught me about his ideas. And his vision was to change the product line that was at this time unbelievable. Total new approach in, as a company. But that was the thinking behind that. That was not only concentrated on design. Design was one part. He organized in the company the possibilities that people could have gymnastic things. Yes. Because even secretaries were doing always the same thing the whole day. So they need something to stay healthy. The first exhibition with the new uh, uh, design of the radios was very successful. Also, the, the, the media and everything was uh, surprised about that, and uh, so Brown becomes more known. So nobody had this idea that by the help of design you also could be very successful. I did it uh, because I became a teacher at the Academy of Fine Arts in Hamburg. So it was necessary to do something which I could tell the students and could tell to the press and also to keep together our own behavior in the design department at Brown. The last one was as little design as possible, which is similar, less is better. I hate everything what is driven by fashion. From the beginning, I was hating in the 60s the American way of styling, especially in the cars. Uh, they changed their, their styling things every two years to sell new ones has nothing to do with good design. So end of the 60s, the whole program was looking like that. In the beginning, with the first writing machines, it was also monochrome. Why should it not be in a color that is it's, it's a difference between a kitchen machine which stays permanently in the kitchen and has to uh, be in the background, like I, that was Erwin Brown, he formulated that our product should look like an English butler, be there when you need them, but in the background when you don't need them. So it depends on the product to make a color or not. I was involved always still in the field of furniture. And then I met 
about to tap and needs me to. I had in my mind always thinking not on one appliance alone, always thinking how can I add something and uh, especially developing furniture that people could change them. They could add something after using them a while. Somebody was written, I'm the designer's designer. And I take that as a compliment. And I also take it as a compliment that uh, Jonathan is, is taking some of the ideas I had in the 60s. And that is for me, again, the best compliment you can get as a designer. I called that later the first Walkman because that was the first one you could have it with earphones and walking with it. It also was designed as a system. Yeah, you have the separate radios. They made an exhibition with the title "Less but Better," and they make this poster. I think that design has a great, great responsibility for the future. I'm always optimistic. As a designer, we have to be an optimist. Otherwise, you should not uh, uh, stay as a designer anymore.